everybody. Today I'm doing a review of my pull-up ruche. That's what I'm going to call her because to spell this name it is R-R-C-H-E. I feel like it's missing a vowel. So I'm going to call her ruche because I think that's a cute name. She was a Christmas doll that came out December of 2012. She was used in a lot of displays in the stores in Japan. So she's got kind of a Christmas theme. And what I will do, as usual, is cover her stock, everything she comes with, and then talk about the doll itself. So I'll start with her hat. It is a white fluffy hat. It's unlined, it's faux fur. It fits her head perfectly. And it's got this uh, gray, I don't know what this kind of fabric is. It's like a soft chiffon or something. But it's a rose and it's got these little beads that come off of it, little diamonds, rhinestones. Kind of cute, very Christmassy. She also comes with, she comes with a lot of stuff, so I'll cover that first. This purse, which I just adore, little gold purse. It's got a plastic chain, but really cute handbag. She also comes with, this is separate, little pink jacket, like a bolero jacket. It's very thick, incredibly well made, and lined. So very cute. And then she comes with a present. Isn't this pretty? little box, pretty decoration. And then inside is a Santa hat. She comes with two hats. This is really cute. It does fit her head. Very soft. Okay. Now her outfit is fabulous. I love this necklace that she has. It's silver and white beads. It ties in the back. Her dress is gray, silver, white, dark gray. Very pretty. It's that same kind of chiffon material. And I love these detailed white flowers with beads, lace. Something else I love is the, the top of her dress, which has more of those little rhinestones and the detail on her um, sleeves. And then her waistband has little glitter on it. She's very festive. And then her um, arms have these black gloves and these cute little bracelets with more of those rhinestones. And if you haven't noticed her Nails are painted. I have a pink magenta. Really, really cute. Okay. Under her dress, she has these black fishnet tights. And it's very fashionable. I like how they aren't exactly tights. They stop at her ankles. And she has these kind of mauve pink pumps. She's still covered in plastic, so I'm assuming these might stain her. So she comes with a lot of stuff, and the doll itself is really, really pretty. So her wig is kind of a strawberry blonde. She has the bangs. It's long in the back. She has this pretty little braid on the side. At the bottom is this little gold ribbon. It matches her handbag. This is one of the softest wigs I have ever felt on a pull-up doll. I was really surprised at how soft this wig is. But I just recognize she has earrings. Cute. I didn't even see that before with her hat on. Earrings. So like I said, her wig is adorable, super soft, super pretty. It almost feels like real hair. It's a little creepy. Her face, I thought I would be a little unhappy with her eye color. They are pink, but they're actually really pretty. And she just has a soft face up, light pinks, 
Not a lot of eye makeup going on. And then her eyelids are just the blush color. So would I recommend her? Oh my gosh, yes. So I got her on Amazon for a pretty good price. She was on sale. I don't remember exactly what I paid, but she wasn't one that really jumped out at me. She was released uh, the same time as Perry Noel. And I think that white ballerina is very distracting and very beautiful, but she is so pretty and she comes with so much fun stuff that I would absolutely recommend her. She looks great in my collection. So if you have any questions about her, please uh, leave me a comment. Thanks.